Here we have a Honda 217, or HRX 217, um, has a bench shaft. Try to straighten it out, but that did not work out. It's still wobbly, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace the engine. Now, if I do this right, um, it should be somewhere in the range of about 5 to 10 minutes just to take this, uh, take this engine off. Right. Now, the initial prep work would be... I'm going to undo the cord here and we're going to disconnect, disconnect this particular cable. So it'll be this and that, and then at that point we'll flip it on its side and start the work underneath. Be right back. Okay, so I've disconnected the, disconnected this cable took the pull cord off now we're going to flip it over on its side all right all right now we flipped it over on its side here the blade has been removed Four bolts is this, 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 and this. All right. Get those taken off. Um, there's a little bit of a, uh, because this is squeezed in there, it's a little bit tough. And what I use to dislodge that cable is basically one of these. I just grab it like so. And I squeeze, and as you notice, that starts to come up. I'll grab that with a pair of, with a pair of needle nose to, yeah, didn't even have to. There it goes, it's already out. We're done there. All right, so that takes that out. Um, and once it's loose and the engine falls out of place, it'll be easy to rotate and take this hinge off. But you're probably wondering about this. How do we get this? How do we get to that? Well, to get to that, we need to take off this assembly. So this is pretty easy. This comes off with uh, taking this bolt off. And once we get this bolt off, this stuff starts to slide right out. All right. So I'll show you that right now. And uh, once I take off this bolt. I'm gonna try and keep all these pieces in place like so, so that way I don't screw it up later when I'm putting it back together. Slides right out. And this in turn, well, I need two hands for that. But once I'm ready to, once I'm ready to, once the engine is loosened, um, I'll show you how easily this slides out and how we can get that spring right off. I'll be right back. All right, so I took out the, the four bolts. I actually put one back in just to, cause uh, the engine started to fall off as soon as I did that. It just, and I wanted to catch me taking apart the, the spring. So that way you see how easy that is. Laid it down over here so that way it's still in the same format. And when I go to put it back together, it'll, fit right in all right so let me set you up over here oh and there's one other thing um there's a, a key that goes in there you want to take that out it gives this hot this allows this piece right here to spin a little bit more freely and um it'll uh, release the tension so when you go to turn this to take the spring off it'll be easier all right so let's back here there we go let me take this let me take this bolt off There we go. Now that the 
it spinning. Should start coming out. There it goes. All right, it's dislodged. Okay, that's easy and comes right off now. Pull that off and sometimes this will take a bit more work to get off. Um, this will get stuck in there, especially on machines that have seen a bit more service. These two pieces will get stuck together. Um, so you might have to pry off the whole thing at once. But in this case, it slid right off. And easy peasy. And as you can see, this comes right off. Um, you do have that one cable that's holding on there. Pop that off. And the engine has not been removed. Yeah. The, the biggest difficulty will be um, when you get to this part right here where it'll sit there and it may get stuck. But again, make sure you take out the lock key so that way this, this gives a better opportunity to, to spin. And it should come right out. Hope that helps. Um, basically to put it back together, you just go in reverse. If you have any questions, all right, I'll try and answer what I can. Y'all have a great day.